Look, I'm going to give my man Money Mills another video. Dude, shout out to Davis Mills. His past three games, 102.5 QBR, almost 800 yards passing, five touchdowns, only one interception. Has been taking care of uh, the ball, you know, in comparison to his first couple games where he threw that four interception game against the Buffalo Bills. You know, Davis Mills had his first complete game yesterday against the Los Angeles Chargers. Shout out to the offensive line. Shout out to the running game for doing what they did. You know, Davis Mills doesn't have this great of a game unless those two, you know, had the game that they have. For Davis Mills to only be sacked one time and for Rex Burkhead to get, you know, 150 plus yards rushing against, you know, a playoff team that the Chargers are. You kind of, you know, knock them out of their playoff race as of right now. But, you know, we know the Chargers, when they get fully healthy, you know, they'll be back and firing all cylinders. A great win for the Houston Texans. Probably the most, you know, probably the best win in a very long time. Because you saw, you know, a guy who wasn't supposed to be the starting QB, really wasn't even supposed to be on this roster, grow from his game against, you know, the Cleveland Browns where he was thrusted in because Tyrod Taylor pulled his hamstring, had that horrible stretch of games, gets benched, come back, and is looking absolutely fantastic, looking like a starting quarterback in the NFL. And, and maybe I'm throwing too much hype into Davis Mills and putting all my eggs in, quote-unquote, you know, a quote unquote a basket but if you look at the other QBs and a lot of people don't really like to compare him to the other QBs right but the fact of the matter is he's outplayed Trevor Lawrence he's looking better than Zach Wilson looking better than Justin Fields we haven't even seen Trey Lance yet um or any other QB as of late uh so right now I mean besides Mac Jones who is playing fantastic with Bill Belichick you know Davis Mills has to be the second best quarterback of this class and not a lot of people are giving him his credit and I understand it's the Houston Texans, you know, we're not known for developing players, we're not known for keeping players happy. Everyone expects Davis Mills to completely fail except for Davis Mills and we see him working hard, we see him consistently, you know, trying to get better and that's what he's been doing these past three games. The only thing that he didn't do was was put a complete game together. The game against the Seahawks, he had a great first half, fell off the second half, the same thing last week, had a good... Um, I'm sorry, uh, last week against the uh, Jaguars, he had a good uh, first half, not a good second half. And, you know, as we could tell, the Jaguars were trying to mount a comeback. And then, you know, the Houston Texans put him away with that Brandon Cooks uh, wide receiver screen touchdown. But here we saw Davis most play a complete four quarter. Uh, four quarters was in command the whole time. His pocket presence was there. His accuracy was there. I think something that we saw that we wanted to see was his arm and and he's accurate you know he was able to put a uh touch on two beautiful deep balls you know the ball to philip dorsett and then the touchdown to chris conley you know had a touchdown towards the end of the game to nico collins you know shout out to nico collins for getting his first touchdown but the ceiling is definitely up for davis mills you know like i've been saying for forever right everyone just hates him because he's not you know deshaun watson and he's just you know the qb that was picked after him Add on top of that, poor ownership. Add on top of that, you know, the offensive line, you know, the multiple running backs. Tim Kelly, not, you know, not able to put in a game plan. David Kelly, really not knowing how to coach a football team. He's dealt with many things. And to overcome it and play better, that's what you want to see. I'm not asking Davis Mills to go out there and throw five touchdowns and 300 yards every single game. I'm asking to just improve and show that you could potentially be a starting quarterback and so far, these past three games, he's absolutely done. That He's placed much better than, like I said, than his first stint as a starter for the Houston Texans. You know, if he goes head-to-head -head with Trey Lance and does, you know, it continues to improve and puts up good numbers, then maybe the Houston Texans might have something in Davis Mills. But as of right now, you have to be impressed with what the kid's doing. You know, you have to look at the potential of, you know, the potential of there being a starting slash franchise quarterback for the Houston Texans only after a year removed of having Deshaun Watson. But let me know what you guys think about Davis Mills' uh, his late as of, you know, as of late. I'm sorry, his run as of late. Like I said, 102.5 QBR rating, 800 yards, five touchdowns, one interception in his last three games. The dude is absolutely balling. Uh, hopefully he gets some considerations for, you know, rookie of the year as we go, go along in the season. He's starting to get the praise and... You know, hopefully Davis Mills works out. But let me know what you guys think. As always, go Texans. You guys have a blessed day.